What the f are French seams? There's boning. Hi everyone, welcome back to What's Sewing On. I've decided every month I want to challenge myself to a bigger project. I love doing my clothing and small projects like that, even though they're very difficult, but I want to do something more costumey, fantasy, cosplay, at least challenge myself to go outside of the box and do bigger projects. Last month I did the Jane Bennett dress from Pride and Prejudice 2005, which I think turned out really nice. It was basically a mock-up, but I had so much fun doing it and it just, it was, it was a really fun project. So I want to keep doing stuff like that. So this month I am going to challenge myself to do Beauty and the Beast Belle's iconic ball gown. It's kind of funny because Belle isn't my favorite Disney princess and Beauty and the Beast isn't my favorite Disney film. They're both great. It's nostalgic. They're very well done. And I do really, really, really enjoy them. It's just not my favorite. So I'm kind of surprised that I'm deciding to do Belle's dress for my very first big ball gown. The reason I decided to do this project was almost by fate, I guess. I was at a thrift store. What's shocking. shocking. And I came across these three massive panels of curtains, like massive. And I wasn't really sure what color they were. I was really hemming and hawing over getting them. They were $6.99 each. They, they looked gold to me, but with the lighting and I just wasn't sure. They could have been rose gold. It could have been a more brown gold. It could have been bronze. I just, I really didn't know. So I asked this really nice lady and she was kind enough to tell me that it was a rich gold. So I started looking at the curtains and all along the bottom of almost all three, there was some wine splatter. I'm hoping it's wine splatter. And there was some sun damage. So I left them and was just like, no, not doing it. I don't even have a pattern for it. So I went over to the sewing notion section in the same store and lo and behold, Simplicity 9163. I hope I'm not just crazy and I hope I wasn't just seeing things that day, but this dress really reminded me of Belle. It has the drape sleeves, it has the ball gown, the fitted bodice, and I was just like, the sewing gods have to be giving me a sign. I won't be doing this overlay. I won't be doing the lace up. Obviously it doesn't have it on the dress, even though this does have roses on it. Not what I'm looking for. So I ran back and I got those curtains and I am starting the dress today. I know I have a lot of work ahead of me. There's going to be tons of fabric, a lot of new steps that I probably don't even know how to do yet. I need to open this baby up. It looks like it was already cut. So I'm hoping all the pieces are there. So I'm gonna read through the pattern. I'm jumping right in. I'll show you guys the fabric and then I'm going to get cutting. So I ran into a bit of a snag. I'm about to cut up the bodice pieces and I wanted to kind of make, so this is the skirt. I thought the inside would be good to make the bodice. So it was like a contrasting color and I don't, you can't really see it here, but this dark part is what I had flipped initially. And I was like, oh, that'll be good. It's kind of still shiny. It looks great. But if you can see, it's so much lighter underneath and there's like sun damage to it. So it's all kind of almost striped with white right there. You can see discoloration there. There's another lighter patch down here. And then this is almost like very, very light. And then the bottom, see, is a lot darker. So it won't give a consistent bodice. So I am just going to do it all the same gold. Can someone please tell me what it feels like to actually be able to buy material for the project you have in mind and know that full well that you're going to have enough for the whole project 
unlike me who buys recycled material and I never know if I'm going to have enough and I always have to finagle pieces so they fit properly even though it's against the grain line. These are literally the only scraps of fabric I have left from all three of those curtains, obviously, because I couldn't use some of the wine stained ones. But anyways, the bodice is going to fit. This is the bodice so far. So I've done my interfacing and all the stay stitching, and I've also done both darts. I've pinned it all together. It is obviously looking a little too big. So I'm going to go and stitch everything together, try it on again, and then probably do some tailoring around the sides, the front, and obviously <laughs> the back, because I don't think it's supposed to look like that. I guess it's only fitting for me to learn French seams with the bell dress. And let me tell you, French seams are definitely a le fou. So I will show you how to do French seams. So you take your two panels and you pin them wrong side together. Yes, wrong side together. So I will show you that now. So that's all pinned down here. Now you take this to the sewing machine and you only sew the edges together a quarter of an inch all the way down. Then once you're finished that, flip it over, press it all down so the sewn edge is right up against the side. Go back to your sewing machine and then stitch your normal seam allowance, in this case, five eighths. Press it again, so I will show you that now. So I've pressed open my seam now and if you see it on the other side, I pressed basically the backing just to one side and the seam is stitched open. So this is what the front seam looks like from the outside. It looks like a normal freaking seam, but a lot of extra work. And then on the inside, it's all folded to one side. And as you can see, there is no frayed edges. Like I said, le fou. I'm gonna give a quick update because I still have so much more to do. I feel like I got a lot done but that's false. I think I got an accurate amount done. So I have stitched together the whole bodice. It looks pretty nice. It fits, it might be a little big, but I have to put the zipper in first and see, and then I can just kind of take it in on the sides and in maybe the dart area if I need to. But so far, I think it's going to be okay for now. There's also boning going in. I've never done boning before. I'm probably not going to be talking a lot while I'm doing the boning. I might just have the camera on while I'm doing it and maybe I'll do a video at a later time of how I do it. This is my first time so I don't really feel like I can give advice on how to do it since I don't even know what I'm doing yet and I'm clearly not making a mock-up so the skirt finished. She's big. She's gold. And I love it. It's all finished with French frickin' seams. I have tried gathering, but it's still quite large, <laughs> even with the gathers. So obviously there's a lot more to do. The next step is to pin it to the bodice before doing the even the lining parts. But I really just wanna get this boning thing done tonight. 
I don't even care if that made me sound like Charles Boyle. I don't want a bone tonight. I want a bone tonight. I don't want a bone tomorrow. Uh, those in the sewing world know that's a real thing. I don't have my microphone on because I don't care. boning is done. It's in, it's pressed. Ugh. It's so funny. It was actually a lot easier than I thought. Not as scary. And instead of just, you know, doing a mock-up and like trying this, I did a whole ass bell gown to basically practice doing boning. I really need to get my priorities straight. I'm not feeling very bell today. Those gathers. It's a beautiful day to leave me alone. Gathers. Those gathers. I was afraid about making the boning work. Making gathers on silky material. Oh. So I have the full dress put together. Gathers are in, everything's good. I've done the boning for the inside lining, so that's done. Make the sleeves, do the front and the back facing, and then hem the skirt, and then fits around with it, basically. Make it more poofy, do some gathers around the knees. It seems like not a lot, but I know it's going to be a lot because I'm already tired. So I'm gonna start it off and I'm gonna go put the skirt lining together and attach that to the skirt. Oh my gosh, I still have to do the zipper. Make the bell dress, I said. It'll be fun, I said. So now I have to stitch all the lining to the zipper and the inside of the skirt. Sew on the sleeves, hem the skirt, make poofs. And I hope that's it.
Oh, Cogsworth. The dress is done. I am so happy with the way it turned out. I can't believe this was gold curtains and I really want to know which rich person had these curtains hanging in their drawing room slash dining room because you fancy. I had so much fun making this dress. Uh, I learned a lot of new techniques, French seams, boning, basically just making a ball gown. I've never done something like this before. I can't believe in June I made a romper out of curtains and now September I've made the bell ball gown. Definitely had some difficulties, especially working with silky material. That was super fun. I am doing my outro on site because I wanted the nice church as a background. So I'm sorry if my audio is pretty bad. There's also lots of people around and it's so awkward. I don't know how people do this. A few things that I would have changed if I had more material was to actually drape the sleeves so they come into the middle, like the actual bell dress. But unfortunately, I didn't have enough material, so I had to do these kind of gathered sort of droopy sleeves. I'm really hoping I don't look like Josie Grossi from Never Been Kissed. And I hope it looks like the bell dress. Basically the whole time I was sewing, I was just like, please don't look like Josie Grossi. Please don't look like Josie Grossi. So I hope I didn't. I really like the gathers. I could have again put a few more in, but for the most part, I think it turned out really well. I had so much fun making this dress. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and I hope you subscribe. I put out new sewing videos every Monday and craft videos every other Friday. So I will see you guys in my next video. Which rich, ugh, which bleh. Gonna keep it rolling. Perfect. <laughs> she's a, she's a, you good? Everyone, welcome back to what's going on. Wow. That's the part that's stressing me out the most. This is why I probably should have practiced. Huh. Who made this? I don't know why every video I want to start off by thinking it's some like big reveal, big surprise of what I'm doing. The reason you're here is because you click the title and probably the thumbnail and both of those tell you what I'm doing.